Uh, today I'm going to talk about the shift that could blow your mind. This may make perfect sense to you. This is just how it works. You know, I have tools to manifest anything, all these workshops and everything. I'm thinking, you know, people should be flocking to this because the results are off the friggin' charts. Amazing. Why aren't they? We're so stuck in our ways and we think we're going to watch a video and change something, do a mantra and a vision board. I'm going to tell you right now, right today, what you can change. Are you ready for this? This could change everything for you and blow your mind. It's going to make a lot of sense. We're talking quantum physics. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. You could be watching this from any one of my channels, my email list, doesn't matter. The message is the same. What do you want to live? What life do you want to live? What desire do you want to manifest? You're always manifesting. People say, oh, well, I have too much to do over here, and then I'll manifest. So, so, no, no, that over there is manifesting. So if you're going to do it in the future, it's never going to happen. Why? You cannot, okay, you ready for this? You cannot live in the reality that you desire until you live the reality you desire. You can't live in it. My father has many mansions. I can be in the basement. All I want envisioning that top floor penthouse but until I start to live the life of a top floor penthouse person, I will never be able to live that reality. Okay, how does this work? I'm going to really simplify it for you. There's some things you can do today. Here's what I do. I absolutely know Beyond the shadow of a doubt, there's nothing I can't manifest. I let go of the fact that the ego has a way it should come to me and when it should come to me. I'm very aware of that, but I have to let that go. I know what my desire is, so I don't put thoughts around it. I just see it. And then I know that that or something better will come. You're like, oh, this is not easy stuff. Yes, it really is. Do you want to live an amazing life of abundance? How are you living right now? Are you scrapping? You know, I use beautiful linen napkins and my best china. I use my best silverware. I light candles. This is not expensive. You get rid of all the other stuff you don't need. Have you ever saved that dress or that suit and then you realize, wait a second, they're probably going to bury me in it, <laughs> right? So what are we going to do about that? We're going to live top notch because we're going to live what we want to live in. So what's going to happen is you're going to disconnect from the lack or poor or broke world, or disadvantaged, or unhappy. You could be like really wealthy right now and super unhappy. How do you switch into that other world? You realize what you've been doing isn't working. In order to be, to live in the reality, I have to be that. I have to live it now. Because then I'm in alignment. I'm, I'm tuned in. I'm tuned in. Right here, I'm not tuned into that. It can't even like connect to me, right? I talk about the radio station. Rock and roll, not that that's lower. Classical, you're just missing each other. You have to live classical music if you want to be classical. You have to live rock and roll if you want to be rock and roll, and there's nothing wrong with that. But don't be surprised when things don't show up. So here's what you want to do. You want to go through your closets and get rid of everything that's not up to par. We're going to a simpler life. I talk about this. It's already happening. Simple means I don't need as many things. And I talked about shortages. 
it's a short of, of excess, not of things that we need to survive. It is not a shortage of things that you will need to eat and function out there. It's a shortage of the excess that has really taken us down to a different level of throwing things away, of not respecting our planet and one another. So what we're going to do is we're going to function on a high level. So you go through your kitchen and you pick your best stuff. You don't have to do this. This is my suggestion. This is what I do. You pick your best stuff. And that's what people see when they come in. When you serve them, that's what people see. But by the way, you don't serve yourself different when they're not there. People get the same thing when they visit me that I do every day. Now I have a couple different uh, variations of that, but they're all like high level. Yeah? Are you ready for this? It has to be first class. So what happens is you need less. You only have a couple things. Now I'm going to put this down in the um, description. My coffee is made in a ceramic pot and I pour it over this beautiful decanter that's glass. Because if you heard my stories before, you know that I threw up one morning from a coffee maker and realized they're toxic. So now I boil my water in ceramic. It's beautiful. I pour it into this glass container. It's a ceremony. I take it into a way of living that is elegant and ceremonial and pure. And then I drink my coffee with my almond milk that I whip up. And I put my cinnamon and turmeric in my coffee, by the way. And all of a sudden, other people think, oh, that's fancy. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because I deserve that and I live it. So I live in that reality. So you do not have to look at whatever you want as something separate from you. You start to live it now. Do you desire wealth? Abundance? For me, that's a simplicity in life. It's just being able to do the things that I desire. I don't need fancy stuff. And I have a lot of fancy stuff. But I have given a lot of that away, most of it away, actually. I realized, how much can you really use? But the stuff I do use, it's high level. It is elegance. It is that lifestyle I want to live. That's beautiful and abundant, but it's not excess. So I'm living what I want to live in. So therefore, it shows up. So now let's, I'll give you an example. Are you, you know, you're acting like you're poor. Maybe you're saying, I am poor, right? So people might help you, but they're going to look at you differently. Like the person who's poor that can't help themselves. You have to help yourself. You have to do this. Nobody's going to save you. You are so equally powerful as everyone else. So what do you do about that? You could say, well, you don't know my circumstances. I'm living in a van. I'm peeing in a cup. All right. You can change that. Everyone can change that. There's so much help out there, and you can get it. You say, how can I find the assistance to help me to change that? So you get the assistance where they train you to have a paying job where you get your own place. You're not living in your van or peeing in a cup. Because you're there for a reason. You have to look what brought you there. By the way, these are valuable lessons. They're not to be judged. There's something extremely, unbelievably clarifying when you do that. Eckhart Tolle did that. He was like, he said that he was sharing a bathroom with how many people in this place that if you had, God forbid you had to go to the bathroom, you would have to hold it. And he went into awakening. He just let it all go. He was so done with all of that. He's a millionaire now, but he doesn't care about being a millionaire. It's not about excess. It's about living that beautiful life. All right, so you have to live that which you want to live in. And then you will resonate with that radio station is going to be tuned in. You're going to hear it because you are now functioning 
like the person that you imagine you want to be, you have to do it now, even if you don't have what you think you need. You have to operate that way. You have to think that way. You have to command your presence, not from other people. You have to contribute it. All right, so you don't hang out with people that are, you know, negative or telling you that you can be, you're less than. Because you know that's not true. That's why they're where they are. What about the people that you aspire to be like? You can be an amazing, beautiful, giving person and still have the abundance and still have all the things that you desire. And then when they don't come the way you think they should, you're okay with that too. Because you're in a place of total faith. So, you cannot live in the world that you desire if you're not living it. And it's a state of mind and being. Now you guys know I teach this. I teach you. I, I shift people into a completely different mindset. They understand where those thoughts are coming from. And they become ridiculous. We actually laugh. We laugh a lot. So if you'd like to come over, you these are free. I help you to shift that mindset. I have a free master class. I have coaching sessions. Are you ready to step away from the madness? Because it is insanity. Because you are the power of the universe. And you are the creator of your entire reality. I cannot live this and desire to live in this. I must live this to live this life. In other words, I must already know it is done. All right, it is done. So I'm going to take my best off. It's maybe they're not Gucci or Prada. I'm going to wear my best stuff and I'm going to give away the other stuff because I don't want to look like that anymore. I know that I'm going to dress nicer and I'm going to hang out with people who are doing things that are productive, that are building their own businesses or uh, getting more skills or, you know, going to lead the way for me to change how I've been living. I, I aspire to that because we learn from other people. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you're programmed. You come from things and, you know, all these programs that tell you you're less than, those are humans who were told that, who were told that, who were told that. Show compassion for them, don't blame them. Go into love, go into love and say, wow, all right, I must live what I want to live in. I must live it now. So you guys know that this is free and I have a one hour webinar called Four Steps to Manifest Anything. It's real simple. I lay it out for you. Please subscribe. And these are free videos for creating online businesses. Go get skills. Expand your knowledge. You're totally in control. There's nothing you can't achieve because you're whole and perfect. Strong and powerful. Loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.